Good day everyone. Um, part of this new venture of mine, which is really the um, Black Spot project, is also to clarify a few of the earlier topics. Now, the one thing that I have done is create a new um, YouTube channel. First one is on my personal name, now the new one is under RF Shop name. So this is a topic that I discussed earlier as well, but I just wanted to make a reshoot of the same slide deck. So the material is the same, the contents is the same. The topic I want to discuss now is the top three questions of SMA connectors. Specifically thinking about the um, reverse polarity and those, those topics, because that, that's, that's always a confusing topic and, and also the other things that are for um, gender selection and so forth. So let me show you first. So the first thing is here, if you look at the slide itself, um, what is a male, what is a female, what is a plug or a jack. Now, if I work with JBAO or JIBO, our supplier, and also the um, budget-friendly supplier, when we talk about a plug or a male, we look at the body. So it's basically the one with a nut. So the photo on the left that you see there. Um, of course, when it doesn't have the nut, then that's the opposite. So that's the jack or the um, female. So that, that's kind of in a innate sense, male and female. That's the SMA connectors, but the same applies to all the others as well. TNC, N-type connectors, um, the list goes on. It's always the same. So that's kind of in a very basic nutshell, when you have regular connectors or standard conventional connectors, that's what you get. Male is with the nut, and female or jack is with the um, thread on the outside. Now where it comes here is the next slide. So um, if you move on to the next slide, of course, the, um, the wonderful existence of reverse polarity SMA connectors or reverse polarity TNC, reverse um, N-type connectors, they all exist and they make our lives um, interesting. A very easy rule of thumb. It's not a golden rule, so it's not absolutely perfect, but it's very clear to, or very near to being almost a perfect um, rule of thumb. If it's a uh, unlicensed band, ISM band. Uh, so do you think about Wi-Fi, you think about 915 megahertz, that's LoRa band, those things. Um, even 433 meg, where there's a lot of unlicensed applications, they tend to use um, reverse polarity connectors. So if you have a um, 4G modem, sometimes quite often there are four antenna ports. Two of them would be conventional SMAs or something, two of them would be reverse polarity SMA. The reverse polarity SMA is most likely going to be your Wi-Fi frequency, your connectors. Same with the TNC. Um, there's this very well-known um, supplier, oh, Cisco, if I might just say it like that. It's, um, Cisco uses TNCs, but it's the same thing. If you look at the connectors, you often see that the, um, the Wi-Fi connectors are the ones with reverse polarity. But as I say, it's not a golden rule. I'm not saying this is the law or anything. Just Kind of when I when when I talk to customers on the phone, that that's really where I can um, get a fifth sense for what they are looking at. What's the difference? Uh, first of all, I mentioned plug is male, plug is with the body. Um, reverse polarity is when you look at the connector at a distance. So you have your connector in your hand like this. Don't go into detail. Look at the front or so, but just look at it. So ah, oh, this is a male connector. So with a nut and so forth, that's the male connector. Now you expect with a male connector to have a little pin. If you don't have the pin, but you actually have a socket, you have a little hole where the pin would go into, that's opposite to what you expect, there's your reverse. It's, you know, it's counterintuitive. That's the reverse polarity. So you have your male body, you have a female pin. The two together becomes a reverse polarity. So it's the opposite of what you think. Reverse has nothing to do with the signal. So don't overcomplicate it. And it's for me easy to say as a RF guy and, and uh, connectors and so forth. It's really just the uh, pin versus the socket. There's nothing more complicated that the signal gets mixed up or stuff gets um, negative to positives or so forth. There's nothing like that. It's really just the pin is a pin on the male and the, um, what you expected to see as a pin is now suddenly a female socket on the male body. Um, the same is then with the other side. So obviously um, the male goes with a, a pin for standard and the body, male body goes with a female socket on the reverse. The um, female is the same. So the female has the female thread with a socket in a reverse. It's a female thread but has a little pin on the inside. 
A lot of talking. Hope I learned it. Make it too complicated. Just look at the picture. The picture hopefully tells tells you the whole story. So this picture hopefully tells a thousand words. I'm keep bubbling on. I can talk forever about these things, but this is really the picture that you need to think about. Now the last one is just another important feature on connectors. I'm showing SMA here, but it's the same on ends. It's the same on TNC. It's um yeah most connectors. Well, those three are the most popular connectors. It's always the case. So we do ask often ask do you want um, bulkhead or you just want the straight female connector because the bulkhead has the little nut to it so you can put it in a panel mount you can put it somewhere else so quite often it just doesn't matter people just have it and it just the nut is there so you can use it or you you don't use it um, but as you can imagine sometimes you have customers wanting to feed the cable through a small conduit or a small hole um, or they don't want anything that could maybe um, hook onto something then they specifically would want the um, the flange, no flange, no flange. So it's just a straight. So see, even I get mixed up in my wording. Um, and we have to ask um, because sometimes it's important, and it's only important the one time we don't ask. That's always the case. So <laughs> we try to ask if we if we feel that somebody selected something and it looks different than normally, we do ask, do you want this one or that one? So there you go, three types of connectors for the SMA. It's the male, which is conventional or female conventional, or the reverse polarities that you need to worry about, or on the female bodies, you need to look at um, bulkhead or non-bulkhead. Who would have thought such a simple connector and you can spend this much time talking about it? Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of what we are doing, please follow our um, YouTube channel. If you have any specific product specific questions, look on our website. If we don't have it on our website uh, today, today again, people just tend to ask us, um, send us an email, send us a, or call us. Um, we may not have all the products on our website, that's just because we are um, you know, we just don't have everything on there, but Jaibo or Jaibo's website is so comprehensive. You can always find products on there. Um, just have a look on that. I'll put the link on this video now. Um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, do follow us. We, um, we have updates there every now and again. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Thank you.